once upon a time the apple boot camp just worked as expected for the most part in recent times though that is no longer correct as many might already know there are occasions when i need to use native windows and i would like to have it installed on an external ssd to be used and reinstalled for a clean install as and when needed basically there are two issues when trying to install windows on a mac and you don't have a windows machine one although you can create a bootable drive you can't get a ntfs format which actually is not even required and you cannot get the apple uh, keyboard and trackpad or mouse to work on startup on windows startup that is but if we can achieve the keyboard and mouse or trackpad to work when we boot into windows the rest becomes simple there is a lot of material on the internet regarding boot camp and how to install windows on mac but mostly it seems to be legacy even talking about things like mbr which is not required anymore in this video we will see how to create a bootable windows usb drive on the mac for the mac it's a simple process and we use built in tools and one external tool which anybody can deal with now let us see how this would be done so let's start by collecting the stuff we require to create the usb bootable drive the first thing is go to the microsoft windows 10 download page select the edition there is only one actually confirm that for some strange reason and then you pick the language confirm that and you get these links to download now we will download the 64 bit edition i have already done that and that is one of the components we need the second is a utility that will transfer the downloaded iso to a usb drive it is called unet button download the mac os edition i have already downloaded both of these and now we will see how to transfer and create a bootable image which works on a mac so before we start creation run the boot camp assistant this is found in the utility directory within the applications directory if you try to continue from here if you have any external storage it will not work so don't try that not even required go up to the menu download windows support software click on that select a directory or a folder like downloads and save it there since i have already downloaded this i will simply stop it here and quit out of this i already have everything downloaded so now we will see how to create the usb so these are all the files we require windows support is what we downloaded via the boot camp this is the boot utility and this is the windows 10 image downloaded from the microsoft site and i have a fresh usb drive an 8 gig one which is more than enough for windows we we'll just erase this and we need just win 10 and make this ex fat we don't need a master boot record 
we'll just do a GUID partition map and we simply erase done in case you don't see these entries for the actual device go into the view menu and select show all devices okay we are done with the format time to run now this is an unsigned application so you do a right click on this and select open do a cancel right click again open and open and then it asks you for the password of your mac and this is the utility we'll take up this image here we don't need to select anything here just the image and now we have to give it what drive in general it will be the second one but we will confirm running the disk utility again and go to the device and the partition that we've created click on the info here and this is disk 7 s2 quit out of this disk 7 s2 is already selected and we just do an ok now this process will take a while to complete and we get this strange blank cancel dialog in case we want to cancel in between so we'll wait for this to complete and i will just fast forward through the process and go on to the next step okay so now that the copying is done the installation is complete and it also gives us a message to hold the option key down while booting to select this boot drive okay so that was step one you just open another tab and this is what was copied now this windows support directory that bootcamp downloaded you need to copy all these files on this usb this xml file is what the bootcamp driver puts in you may or may not see it depending on your bootcamp version this basically auto installs skipping a lot of stuff in windows and we don't want that so this is a scaled down version of the unattended install which simply tells the windows setup to look for drivers in this particular directory bootcamp has the bootcamp drivers and the application this xml file you can download and replace the one that you got from bootcamp if you did not get one just copy it here it's a small 1kb file we just select all of this copy and simply paste it here oops okay we just cancel that i think i have a bit too much here i have my macbook pro stuff also there so i've just removed that keeping only the imac bootcamp so this is going to take a while to copy depending on the speed of your usb drive and that's about it once the copying is done simply restart your mac keep the option key pressed and you will see a efi boot option in the booting options select and press enter on that and you will get to windows follow the prompts install windows to wherever whichever partition you want format it if needed to ntfs and once you are in windows you can install the bootcamp as we will see shortly once you have logged into windows 
Just press the Windows key and type CMD for command. You should see this screen. And then click Run as Administrator on the right. This is just in case you don't have the right click working. This is a workaround for that. So once you run this as Administrator, you will see this command terminal popping up. Simply change to the root directory and type in the following commands. Do not run the setup from the bootcamp drive that seems to get stuck for most people. Change the directory to bootcamp, drivers, apple and just run apple bootcamp.msi. Just type that in, press enter and that's it. You will have a totally functional working Windows installation. The one other thing that you might find useful is something called Extra Magic, which allows you to operate your trackpad or the mouse far more like you would on your Mac rather than what happens as default on the Windows. I have installed this and it works pretty fine. So that's it for now. Have fun till the next one.